Uh, Steve? That looks like testicles. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I don't think they're nose. Just put it in. Just put it in. <laughs> uh, I mean, that had to be part of some conversation at some point. Like, how can you not know? Okay, so here's the centipede demon. He's pretty easy to kill. I believe if we fall, yeah, fall here. Soul Brave Warrior. Nice. I think that's worth like 8 or 10k around there. Something like that. I don't remember where we're supposed to fall, though. I think we're supposed to... Oh. Yep. Nothing like a good junk to start out the fight. <laughs> yeah, it happened to me last time, too. I went for that. I was like, ah, shit. Okay, so is pretty easy. He just has some high high stamina hitting attacks, but I do have a higher stability shield than when I fought him last time with higher fire resistance. So he shouldn't be a big deal. Just don't touch the lava. <laughs> the rule one, don't touch the lava. Yeah, I think I, I did see him up there. Yeah, I did see his ass over there. I thought I saw him. I believe you can also cut off his tail. I don't know if it gives you anything. It might, might not, but you can cut off his, one of his tails. I know that. I don't remember which one. It's one of his heads, I believe. I think that just makes him easier to fight. I don't know if I'm going to go for that. It just depends what angle I can get this guy on. So he's going to throw things at you. He's going to throw attacks. Oh yeah, I remember his jumping thing is the annoying part. His jump up and come down attack. And also it's hard to hit him. Yeah, it's a lot easier to dodge. It doesn't take all my stamina like it used to. Oh. So you can also target this. Okay. I didn't know that. Oh. Oh, yeah. And you get the ring for it. Oh, you got fight. Fight. Fight your way out of it. Fight out of it. Yeah, that is awesome. So, yeah, you want to stay away from his middle part. Because that's what will bite you up. Yeah, this is much easier on a an actual melee, not a not a mage melee who has uh, a... <laughs> Who has a Uchi Katana? Yeah, without his long attacking thing, he's so much easier. He can't attack me from such a far distance anymore. Yeah, when he jumps up, just shield. Oh, I guess he can't come down with that strike. Oh, that is just genius. Oh, he regenerated it. Now he can. I didn't know he could do that. Yeah, killing that makes this fight easy. Okay, we're good. Yeah, this guy's so easy with this weapon. This makes this fight a fucking cinch. That was fucking easy mode. <laughs> uh, well, there's three out of the four bosses down. Making this place, well, actually, this place is actually pretty easy, especially when you take it on at the last place. It's really easy. So if you don't chop off that guy's... Uh, head thing and kill it then when he dies he will drop this ring regardless because you cannot pr continue in the game without it and now lava damage does nothing it does still do a number on your shield so don't or not your shield uh, on your armor so don't be running around like ah lava lava you know because your armor might break after a little bit but it it just makes lava damage nothing I still like to try to jump every gap just so I take as little uh, reduction on my armor as physically possible. That's just how I roll. So we need to get over to that hole over there. I don't. I feel like there's something you can do over here, but I don't know what it is. So okay. So bed of chaos is really easy. I have a feeling I'm gonna die, possibly at least once, if not twice, or three times, possibly. The good part, oh uh, yeah, I haven't done anything with Solaire, so he's not here. <laughs> Usually Solaire is here like, I suck at life or some shit like that. I don't really need any essence right now, so I don't need to do anything with that. Um, 
Oh, uh, resistance is only poison resistance. I ain't putting up resistance. Fuck that. I don't need poison resistance. I need toxin resistance. But I can't get that. I might put up intelligence. That'll increase my armor and stuff. I'll put that up later, though. I'm gonna go vitality right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Look at that health. So much health. Okay. Yeah, since I have 18, I don't need to worry about that right now. Oh, I did not repair my stuff. I should repair my stuff. I should always repair your stuff. So yeah, we need to be limber for this uh, bed of chaos, because he's a bitch. Oh, so I, I forgot I didn't mention this uh, last time I was playing. So obviously, for those of you who know about the DLC and how to get to the DLC, um, I found this out. Uh, so I was mentioning back when I beat the Hydra that there was some person back there uh, back uh, that I saved that girl that uh, it was the crystal thing that turned into the girl you're supposed to do that for the DLC that's how you get to the DLC because when you come back later there will be a, a portal there or some shit um, so that's what that was and I guess I, I showed up there too early in the game last time and so it wasn't uh, she, she wasn't there or something so that's what that is I figured that out for people who knew what the DLC was they're just like yeah the DLC. <laughs> Duh. But yeah, I don't yeah, fucking know. So this place is filled. I know it's so bright fucking red. I, I realize that. This is filled with these like headless dragon things. There's only one of them that will aggro to you if you're too far in one direction. But they will not attack you so you don't have to worry about it. And the one that might aggro to you, you can outrun. I think if you just go around the other way, I think I just kind of went the wrong way. Honestly. Uh, if you run around this way, I believe no one aggroes to you. I don't quote me on that, but it's just why I, th I think that's this is the right way to go. Yeah, because if you go around the other way, that big, big motherfucker will be like, "Hey, what are you doing?" And yeah. So if you go this, <laughs> he chased me, but he didn't. You know, I, tr I tried to kill him, but he didn't really do anything. Oh, hey, what's up? Sorry, testicle, I gotta leave. But you, uh, you do your little scrotum thing. And I'll be back. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the non-drop way this time. Cause every time I do the drop way, so that's a destination over there. Where it's, it's really easy. You don't really have to fight much to get back to. Uh, ow! Well, looks like I fell. Regardless, <laughs> it doesn't take much to get back to the chaos if you die. God, it hurts. You do have to run all the way back through this again. I, I believe there is no other uh, faster way there. Or there's no other uh, bonfire in between then and there. There might be one if you go venturing, but I don't feel like venturing because I can just run straight to Bed of Chaos. And it just makes it easier for me at least. There's a lot of these scrotal guys here, so be careful of their fire damage. It is painful. So painful. Scrotal slam! Diamond strike! That one's fake. Yeah, there's a bunch of these guys around here. What's that? Take the us? I think it. It's also a good place to use that HP recovery ring. If you have low health and you don't want to use an Estus, because these guys, especially if you're one hitting them or two hitting them, uh, just regen your health pretty, pretty well. There's a lot of them in here. I almost got the fire off of me, buddy. You almost got it. You feel proud about that? <laughs> you almost got fire off of me. I don't think you might be able to backstrike these people. I can't remember if you can or not. But, I don't know. It's not really that worth it, because, I mean, they, they don't. They're easy to get behind, just double whack, one whack, and they're dead. I can't remember if there's anything over here. Oh, yeah, there is. 
A large brain for him, nice. That's gotta be worth some doubt. I can't believe we're almost to the DLC bosses. And I don't wanna fight the DLC bosses. <laughs> I'm going to, obviously, but I don't want to. These things are scary and annoying. Because if they grab you, they're annoying, but if they don't grab you and you get behind them, they're dead. <laughs> but I mean, there's one place in here that I don't really care for, because I don't really care for the items that are in here. If there was a specific item I wanted, I'd care about items that are in here, but there's not, so I do not care. Up here is where you'll face Kirk, but if you kill the boss, he won't show up. This is a pyromancer. Be very careful. That's a... I know that spell. <laughs> don't you dare use a chaos fireball on me. He was going for a firestorm there. Chaos firestorm. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good catalyst too, I think. I don't remember. There's, uh, uh yeah, I think up here is where you fight Kirk. Yeah, right here. Um, and here is Bit of Chaos. I don't remember what it was. Oh yeah, because I think with this scythe, with how much health I have, um... Artorius shouldn't be a problem. He might still give me a run for my money, probably will still kill me, but Artorius shouldn't be a problem, but I still have not been able to beat him. So immediately bed of chaos, she's gonna like lay down here for a little bit. You wanna I still call it she. You wanna immediately run over to one side, get one third of this boss fight out of the way immediately. I shielded that. Okay. As you can see, she chunks health. Okay, I think you're safe in here, but do not quote me on that. Up, I want a save point and attack this glowing part. Just gonna get pissed and all fiery. This is where the battle starts getting hard. But what I notice is it's dangerous to walk among this path. But it's not. Um, but it makes it a lot easier because you don't have to worry about stuff falling or uh, land crumbling around you because this part will not crumble and it will get you to both sides safely but you do have to worry about her knocking you into the into the holes that they create okay so I don't know where the yeah right on here this part will not crumble at all but as you can see you can easily get knocked back into the uh, into the open holes. Easily get knocked back into the holes here. So yes, well, you gotta be careful. And then just run over here. Perfect. Ooh, bit of chaos. Heal up. Well, I'm semi-safe. Just chunk him. Okay, so there's half of the, or two thirds of the bow down. Now we gotta get into the middle hole that is created and stab the parasitic, like, um, little, just, uh, I don't even know what to call it, little bug thing that's running her. That's running this entire tree. And that's the entire boss fight. You don't, you only like, have to stab it once. Oh god, I've been hurt to. Oh yeah, he does also have this fire thing. So I just gotta avoid getting whacked into anything. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. I can just run straight up the middle, really. Or kind of. Straight to him when I get back the next time. So that's not that big of a deal. I'll see you when I get back there. Though I do have to run all the way back there. Which is kind of a big deal. So I'll see you when I'm back there. Fuck, oh, what the fucking shit? <laughs> Don't miss the jump! <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's one, there's two.
Made it. Oh fuck yeah, made it. Oh fuck yeah, just gotta get in, gotta get in. Okay. Okay. Okay, just break for daddy. Please break for daddy. No, no, don't give it, don't give it, don't give it, don't give it, don't give it. Don't give it. Okay, okay. Still kill me inside him, apparently. Hey, asshole. Bitch. It's actually way more worth it than it should be. <laughs> so I need like four thousand. Yeah, I guess like that. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so we beat them. Oh, nice PG. Sweet. That'll be enough for two levels. So I think I'm gonna get vitality to 35 and then like start putting one and one vitality endurance. Should be nice. Nice, 1,001, almost 1,200 health. It's like 300 more than I have on my pyromancers. Not bad. Okay. Oh, no, I want to well repair first off. 115, and these took a beating. And warp, we need to warp to... Um, yeah, um, I know where we're going. So we're DLC now. Which might piss me off. <laughs> I at least want to get to the second... Second, after I want to be the Sanctuary Guardian, then I want to get to the bonfire, and then I'll probably be done for the day. So let's see. How far are they? What do you get? I guess far. Okay, I'll meet you where when I need to be, or I'm at where I need to be. 